I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino. I'm back, Slotcar family, and another video on Slotcar Do. Being back home from the UK Slotcar Festival, I wanted to do the 1 to 24 uh, lookout from Scale Out. What can we expect this year from Scale Out? What's up? What's to come? What is new? What will be on our tracks or as a shelf queen? To start off with, yes, they have promised to do uh, vintage Formula One cars which were already to be seen at the UK Soccer Festival. Actually, four different bodies. Um, for those bodies, they also sh have, have shown us the chassis that will, they will be using uh, at the festival on foam tires. Um, I was told that in the delivery, it will be um, rubber tires, as they say. Although I test drove those beauties on the scale auto track at the festival with the foam tires they were lovely to drive it was just smooth uh yeah here is a pre-production body of the red body that we've already seen this one that is and a little close-up look here to the body and what we can expect the driver's a little headless as this was the first day of the festival there was a little transport accident that actually cost the driver his head, but I can assure you within minutes it was on again. Um, yes, the pre-production bodies already look so well, so nicely made. And again, driving them on the scale auto track, uh, which was the first time for me, by the way, was, was really nice. The track surface really seems to be beauty. Here we've got an Auto Union Vintage F1 car uh, with a lot of details already on. Again, we're talking hard body 1 to 24 scale here. Don't forget that. Um, and yes, I do see troubles for this driver's head in private use as well. But again, this was pre-production. By the way, the um, chassis, I think, was made of aluminium and not steel this time. Uh, and again, uh, on the show, the cars had hard foam tires in the front and soft foam tires in the rear. But just look at the stunning detail that we can expect on those cars. I think the tire dimension will be a little uh, higher, meaning they will be a little higher as this is not really scale, but still, I mean, if you drive those on a four-lane track, side by side, they are a blast. Talking about four-lane tracks, ooh, little camera show going on there. Um, we were told by Scale Auto that they will come up with six different uh, radiuses for that track. That means you will be able to do a 12 lane track if you want to as a club track or uh, the variations that you can do are just really really many with those different radiuses also in 1 to 24 coming up are those bmw m4s by scale auto or for all of you dtm and gt3 lovers out there they will come but Scale Auto, of course, also does 1 to 32s, as you can see here. The Peugeot on the left, the LMP, and the two Porsches 963 that are already issued today, uh, plus a few new gears for the 24 guys, like me. But the highlight to me personally were those two LMP cars to come up this year, July or August. On the right hand side in the rear, you can see a new aluminum chassis that will come up as well with those cars. And on the left rear, you can see the steel carbon chassis that's already out, Porsches and a Cadillac in 1 to 32 as an LMP car was to be seen there as well. Pre-production bodies on two different Auto Union bodies. The shape is different. Um, and here you see those two 
painted already what they will look like. And yes, they are different, but not only by the looks. Um, the paint job is the same actually, but that was pre-war. And the red one, the headless driver again. Um, and one more time, because we've only seen them shortly, the BMW M4s. I mean, both liveries look really good to me. I, I, I like those cars. So I'm not sure whether they will come into my stable or not. And the already known steel chassis that's out today as well. But one more time, I couldn't resist to give you the looks of the LMP cars one more time and a little closer look up on the upcoming aluminium chassis by Scale Auto. With a rear axle suspension, by the way, not only front axle suspension. And the well-known, because it's out already today, steel, carbon, aluminium chassis. And yes, on we go with a little more on the pre-production bodies. I just couldn't resist. the. I, I didn't know where to start or to stop, to be honest. It was like 1 to 24 heaven for me personally to have all those pre-production cars there to look at, to actually touch and to track test on the scale out to track that we see here. So, this was it for the 1 to 24 news from Scale Auto from the UK Slot Car Festival. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to press that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be informed when new videos come out. Uh, leave comments, tell others, share, leave comments. I think I already said that. <laughs> okay. And as always, with the Slot Car Dude, don't forget, there is more to come.